In this presentation, we will calculate cost per equivalent unit using the weighted average method. Last time, we computed equivalent units of production, equivalent units of production for materials and conversion. We're going to use this information now to apply out the actual costs. Note what we're talking about here are units as opposed to the costs when we consider the journal entries we want to consider dollars we're thinking about dollars and we therefore need to do some type of conversion between units and costs here's going to be our given data so our data that is given we're now talking about the dollar amounts we're talking about the dollar amounts that were spent we know what the dollar amounts are what we don't know is how to apply those dollar amounts out between the various departments so here's going to be our given data work in process in june 1st for uh, the material costs has 6731 for conversion 4312 and then costs added to production in june the current month that we are in so the beginning costs and what we incurred the 130,483, and the conversion is the 89 to 43. So here is our calculation then. We have the work in process for June 1st. We have the materials. We're just pulling these numbers down then. The $6,731 that we're talking about now, not the units. And the conversion, 4312 That comes up with a total if we add these two up to 11043 Then we have the costs that are added. Again, we're just pulling these numbers down, the 130 for uh, 83 and we're pulling down the 89 to 43 those add up to 219 724 if we then sum everything up or total this out we've got the total cost the 1143 the 219 726 for 237 69 and then the materials total costs for the beginning and what was added 6731 1030 483 is the 137 27 214 and then the conversion we have the beginning amount of 4312 and then we added 89 243 for a total of 93 550 so there are our total costs that we need to now apply we're going to have the equivalent units then considering the equivalent units from our prior slide so that's the uh, 6534 we're now getting these equivalent units from our prior slide here. So 6,534 and for conversion to uh, 6,237. So in other words, here's our total cost broken out between the materials and conversion in dollars. Now we're going to be using these equivalent units and applying these out per equivalent units, which we will later use to apply out our costs. So we have the equivalent units. We're going to divide those out then the cost per equivalent unit will be with this uh, 137214 divided by the 6534 gives us the 21 dollars and then if we take the so now we have our dollar amount our cost per equivalent unit and we can use that cost per equivalent unit as kind of an average to help us to apply out the costs to the appropriate department in other words, we will calculate the costs for the units that were transferred out and we'll calculate the costs for the units that are still in the work in process for a department.